Rudy, listen, bro. <laughs> take the cap and take the glasses and just go to Cancun. Don't play the next game. Oh, One, man, two, three. Go Cancun. to Cancun. To Minnesota, come back down 3-0. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. To the no, no, no. Listen, 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 Linda. If you out there and you're 6'7 right now, I'm 6'11. <laughs> We could have us a 95 million a year baby. <laughs> <laughs>
Bro, put that the shit weaker on his team head. In, in, in he talking about he ain't going oh. against the <laughs> 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 Where you need to wear the hat? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Since, since when I'm going against Boston, bro? Since when? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you talking about. I ain't going against Bob. I'm just saying, like, been you saying we ain't bringing them up enough. I'm just saying, like, bro. Yeah, they, they, we really ain't. Because some people say they had the easiest path. Nigga, they like, did. What, the fuck what you mean? mean? It ain't no easy path to the championship. They just whooping teams' ass. <laughs> That's what's going on. They beating everybody, even without Pazinga. They beat everybody with Pazinga. Hey, Drew Holiday been clamping. Drew Holiday doing everything. Drew. Drew, Drew changes. But, but hold on. To get, to get back to the question. You said that the better storyline would be with with Dallas. No, no, no. The, the better story, yes. The the better storyline would be with with Dallas. Okay. Let's start with the head of the snake. Yep. We'll start with Jason Kidd. You know all. Oh, we thing. start. We well, start with the coach. I didn't even play. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. First of all, let, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go past the coach. I'm gonna start with Mark Cuban. Okay. Mark Cuban sacrificed this year. He gave up a part of the team. What did he, he give gave, up? I think he gave some ownership in the. He gave up some ownership. I think so. I'm not mistaken. Okay. Let's 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 look that up. Let's fact. You probably you probably, you probably ain't believing them niggas the whole time. <laughs> oh, no, but then start settling Luka, like Jordan did. Luca start feeling bad, like man, we ain't doing that good. <laughs> Luca Luca been upset. He been pissed off. So then last year Kyrie come. Now everybody hating on Kyrie for coming. Kyrie lose the Nike um, Nike deal. The Nike deal. Yep. He lose all these deals because of his because of the things how he feel and what he says. And so now we're in this era where. Say how you feel. Say your truth. And Kyrie been saying his truth. He been living in his truth. And he is not getting the respect. He's been left off top 75. Um, Jason Kidd has not been always looked at as a great coach, but Olympics. he's the one that got uh, Giannis to be in to where he is. All these different things. You got to yeah. give praise to where praise is due. It start with the coach. They got championship pedigree guys on the bench, and they have shown with their experience and all that stuff that – they they have what it takes to win, and I believe if if it goes to the finals, we're going to see one of the greatest uh, finals. Yeah, and me too. Because if they win, it's gonna it's gonna be amazing just for Dallas to come back and win. Yeah, after they haven't won playoff, since um, dirt. 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 Yeah. you know I think that was two thousand. It's gonna be another. Uh, was that two thousand eleven? No, two thousand twelve probably. No, it wasn't 2012. Was it? it was no, one of the 2011 or 2012? No. 2014. They beat Miami, right? Yeah, they beat yeah, Miami. Miami. That was well, way further it's back. It's going to be another European winning the champion. Luka Doncic and Dirk. Now, Luka, Luka's going bananas. They can't guard him. I say this 2010. Right 2010. 2010. Okay. Let's wait, wait, wait. Hold on. on. <clears throat> Two conference championships on uh, five division titles. No, 2011. 2011. 2011. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I right so I'm gonna say this: since they up now 3-0, this is what I'm saying to Luca. Sit down, Luca. Are you not even playing them game four? I'm not playing them game four. That's out of pocket. I know Why? what you're trying to do, though. That's out of pocket, bro. Why? He want he want Luca to sit so that Ant Man could come back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, I, I I I've been rocking with Minnesota. I'm not gonna. Start so if you're rocking. a coach, you sit in Luca. I'm telling you why they need to sit Luka. They don't need them to win the next game. Minnesota going to lose they self. We're going we gonna to get to that because a player, oh. a, player, a player from Minnesota said something about that. But, but, but I get what he mean because Boston going to have a lot of rest. So, look, Luka going to have two weeks to rest. Remember, his knee was hurt last game. Both knees. Okay, both knees. And his knees. back. So, now he get two weeks <laughs> to get his body right. We talking about Luka with Luka feeling – at least 80% going yeah. into the playoffs. Ooh, I mean, going into the finals. Yeah, that's and he going to have he going to have all of um where where you from again? Um overseas. Um, um uh, where Luka from? Is it from? Serbia? No, not no, Serbia. No, not Serbia. Uh um, It's uh Slovenia? No, not Slovenia. I think it is Slovenia. It might be some I should man, listen. Luka has not he only might be from Russia the way he be Slovenia, Russian. Slovenia, Slovenia. Slovenia. <laughs> okay, so like that's what I'm saying. Like, look, he's gonna come over here. Think about this. If they win this year, his reign as as top dog in the NBA probably will just have start because he started at 16 overseas. Yeah. He was winning championships and stuff at 19, MVPs, all that stuff in the toughest league. So the crowd, the noise, the pressure, 
He ain't feeling none of that. Yeah, he used to that. He used to and all that. I think you're right though. Uh, when you look at storyline, Mo, I think I think Dallas just because like not even the the, the guys, right? The guys, Kyrie and the guys, Luca. If, even if you look at the role players that we, me and you yeah. were talking about, right? Dante Exum, right? Somebody who was written off, had to leave the league and come back. PJ, I ain't gonna say PJ had a hard time in the league, but. He was in some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. My, my boy PJ he had was. it hard. PJ came over there and kind of revamped his entire he, career. He did everything. And, I, and, and I'm right? so, man, PJ, I'm, I'm proud of what he's Shout done. Shout out PJ, man. Shout out to PJ for real because, like, that, the pressure that he was under to yep. come back and perform the way he's performed, it shows you the, the type of person he is. He's been standing on business. No, yeah. He's been standing on business. And then... Um, and for Kyrie, if Kyrie was to win a championship without Brian... What that would do for him. Lively and, and losing his mom this yeah. year. How like like all that'll come full circle for him. That whole moment, you know, his mom being, you know, that spirit, that energy that's in all of them that's lifting them up to win the title. They probably got the best story. Like no, they do. They definitely they got do. The that'll be the best story. And, you know, I think it'll be very heartwarming. I think it'll do a lot of stuff for the city yeah. of Dallas and all that stuff and how they're rebuilding they, it and they revamping all playing Dallas. Like they, they got something to prove. They are. Yeah. They hungry. All of them. Uh, D. Jones. Yeah. He's balling, playing Shout out Derek Jones. Shout out yeah, Derek Jones, I'm telling man. You, man. You know what? We going to get to that series soon because it's a lot to talk about. But... We got to talk about the series that you want to talk about. Yeah. We're going to put some respect on the Boston Celtics. For, by the way, hold on. By the way, you know what I'm saying? I don't like how I'm being... I, I feel like I'm being, like, victimized as, like, this 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 Boston hater. When I become a Boston hater, bro? <laughs> Y'all be trying to act like I be hating on the Celtics, bro. It's just not you true. Do. I'm a Nets fan, so I got to hate the Celtics. But. Okay. <laughs> Niggas, <laughs> now, I'm, I'm a, I play with the Lakers, so I'm I supposed to have a disdain for... The Celtics. I'm gonna keep it a bean, bro. I'm the only nigga on this show that that actually likes the Lakers, bro. Both of them don't what? like the. I'm, 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 I'm being honest. And on top of that, I'm the only person that likes the Celtics, bro. He loves the Lakers. I love the Lakers. Bro, he <laughs> loves the Lakers with it. Move. You both, me and you both know the white was going for Minnesota. We watched the game together. Yeah, I was. It going. was eight minutes left in the fourth. It's over. No, it was not over then, bro. When tonight? The white you be flipping, bro. I don't be flipping. Move, move. Tell the people I knew at home. it was over. Move, when? Tell the people at home. Is that flipping? Hold on, though. Move. Tell, tell the people at home. All right, move. listen. The last episode, he did say. <laughs> he said, yo, it's going to be hard to beat Luca in this series. Before the series started. But then well, at the end. People be <laughs> but then at the end, he said, Minnesota and the <laughs> Man, he but no, I was going for Minnesota, but the truth be told, bro, it's over with. Like I was saying during the game. I yeah. was just tell it wasn't me flipping on my team. It's me just really saying, you, you can know do what? a basketball camp with the Minnesota team <laughs> in Cancun. Cancun what, is, basketball camp coming come soon. On, man, is it over with for Indiana? Because Boston it's beat Indiana, Indiana. 114 and 111 it's in the Curtis. game that went down to the wire. And is Tyrese it, wasn't playing. Tyrese wasn't even playing. So but, I mean, but it went going, 114 and 111. They going back to Boston, right? They going, they going back to Boston. It's over with. No. They they're playing in Indiana. They play Indiana. They lost two in Boston. They they oh, lost it's, game it's three, three in Indiana. Three oh. Yep, it's three oh right now. And it's, the question is, is the series over? Indi yes, they playing man. at they playing in it, Indiana. It don't matter. It's over with. The series, they three oh. See, I feel like it's different, right? Because like What's Minnesota because Minnesota lost. They down three one and they playing another game in Dallas. At least they playing another game in, in Indy. Bro, it's what's the home court advantage of Indy? It's no home. Indy what Indy, do you Indy mean? be live. Indy be it's, live, bro. It's 3-0 on both sides. Indiana Fever be live, bro. That's Caitlin Clark. I'm now, just... the only way they can come back now is if they draft Caitlin Clark real <laughs> quick to come play for the uh, so, last so, for a four-game contract. Four so, game so, contract. So, Indiana's done. Indiana done, man. I'm saying, like, I know they're not winning the they series. Are they winning, are, are like, they winning, are they the, winning game? the game is what I'm saying. Let it's me over add something. With, man. Let me add something. Because when Robert Horry was talking about when they did the Cancun on three thing, right? Yeah. When you down 3-0... Do you really try to win a, another game? Do you want to go home? That's a good question. <laughs> like, you you played in the league for a very long time. Have you ever been swept before? Yeah, I've been swept okay. before. So, game three, after y'all lose, and game four is coming up. Nigga, do you even care? Like, because you know I, you're going to lose eventually anyway. I did care because I wanted to win, but I, it was like we was 
we was fighting some giants. Like, That's what I'm we, asking. We, because like Detroit Bradley Bill said then. when they was it was down Detroit. So Detroit has swept y'all back then. Yeah, they swept us. They beat us every game in the regular season. So it was like <laughs> <laughs> we kind of knew. <laughs> it was like we. <laughs> That's what Robert Horry was well, saying. Well, though. What, what? What? Wait, hold on. What was the roster on this on this uh, Pistons team? Give me, give me a. Was it it's, the Rasheed the Wallace? Team. This the 04 04. championship They team. said it's the only team to win a championship that ain't had no one on the top 75. Yeah. They had nobody top 75. I mean, their best player technically was uh, Big Shot, Chauncey. Okay. And I don't think Chauncey uh, no. made top 75. No. You know Ben Tayshaun didn't. Tayshaun didn't. Rip Dang. didn't. She didn't. That's a good point. Move. Ben? It's the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, y'all, so, all right. So, so that 04 team... Y'all got swept by. So you telling me game three? What are you telling your teammates in the locker room? We still got this. It, it, like, it, I mean, it, are they even listening to you at this point? I don't even think you're listening to yourself <laughs> when you say it. I think you're just saying it because you know it's <laughs> never been done. Three zero is three zero for a reason. No matter yeah. how you feel. Corey said when they was going up, they was in the damn huddle. I forgot what vet said it, but he said they was like, yo. It's 3-0, they the better team. We might as well go to Cancun. <laughs> Cancun where, on three. That's where Cancun that's where started it's, from. And they said that's where it started from. He said it, he wasn't trying to make a joke. He was just trying to lift the team spirits up and shit. I understand that because it's true. Like, why would you <laughs> – like, at this point, why would you be lying? Like, you got to say some stuff to get they, get they move better because if it's 3-0 and they down – like, you been down 3-0 in a series. Like, you win one game. You still gotta win what? Three more. Three more games. Now you tired. Your body extra tired because you fighting hard to try to win. So it's like, it's impossible. Like anything bro, is possible. What? I seen LeBron come man, back three is, one. Hey, that, but LeBron, that's why LeBron is the goat. It's a little LeBron different. Came that's back why three, Anthony Edwards no, on that came shit. Back three one, bro. Not it's three zero. And Luca killing. They can't stop Luca, <laughs> nah, bro. They can't. They bro. can't stop Luca. But we talking Indiana, Indiana though. We talking about oh, Indiana yeah, we and, to, and I uh, can't, Boston. Oh, yeah, you're right. They can't stop Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> no, and speaking of that though, Tatum dropped. I, I believe he dropped 36 points, um, 10, 10, 10 and rebounds, eight. and eight assists. Is it fair to say that he's a legitimate postseason player? Unfortunately, Jason Tatum has been stuck as like this player who just can't play well in the playoffs to where a lot of people, especially Boston Celtics fans, let me know down below in the comments, they believe that Jalen Brown is a better player when it's crunch time, when it's clutch time. Do y'all agree with that? Well, I mean, listen, you can't do that. To, uh, the Tatum Jason, hate got to stop. Tatum hey, bro, if you go on Twitter, bro, like NBA Twitter, NBA Twitter is bashing Jason Tatum whenever they can. But I feel like Jason Tatum is playing very well right now. It's not too much he you can is, say about him right now. It's like, man... But see, they they trying to give him that Jerry West uh, sit, like title, because Jerry West was getting to the playoffs yeah. every year, getting to the finals and losing. So like, so that's why when you said the Dallas might have a a, a crazy story, obviously, but if the if Tatum finally win one, yeah, after and keep he win, going, and he win for Boston. <laughs> He got number 18 in the Raptors for Boston. Do you know how big that is? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Come on, son. Like, yeah, be wild. like, come on, that that'll be like crazy. And then Jalen Brown, he just got that three hundred million. dollars Which is crazy. Contract. He's the highest paid player in the NBA. The yeah, highest they, paid player. But they saying now years. Tatum know if his contract about to be up soon. Oh, for sure. Tatum about to get a. Well, you got to think. If, Tatum if, about if, to get four hundred. For sure. He got two more years. Gotta be four hundred. Got to. If not, nah, if they win this year, he getting four hundred eels. But good thing. 400 things. million, bro? Yes. Damn. But I know we don't want to go back to them, but if Luca win. <laughs> Where he get? Mark 500. Cuban. Yeah, he get 500. He get, and Mark he Cuban getting get them a jet. 400 jet. million contract, and, and then Mark Cuban going to say, hey, listen, I will give you two, <laughs> 200 M's on, on the, the side. side. <laughs> so you really going to have seven M's total. Now, hey. you said something about Drew Holiday last episode. Last episode. He look, been clamping. Look he what asked. he doing. Drew Holiday, bitch. It's holiday season. It's holiday hey, season. Hey, for Nick, real. Nick, about to play a clip, man. This was the game stopping drive right here. The score was 112 to 111. Indiana had a chance to score the ball. They're coming down, trying to get a quality shot. Yeah. But Drew was literally draped all over him, get a steal to kind of close out the game. Go ahead and play Bro, it real this, quick, Nick. This, this is crazy. This is why I feel like Boston and um, Boston and Dallas is going to be an epic series. Just and y'all asking, Hold y'all up. asking, is it gonna be rocking? Look at that, bro. That, hey man, hey, hey, Indiana, I, I ain't gonna let them do that to y'all, bro. That's what, that, hey, bro. 
What's Indiana, that, that building be rocking, bro. You know when you was playing in Indiana, bro, you couldn't tie your shoes. It was loud as hell. You can't hear yourself talk. Tell the people your Indiana stories, man. That ain't true at all. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> man. About. What you got against Indiana? Nothing against Indiana. I love playing there. Like, come on. But, but it wasn't like a fear factor. <laughs> was it Game Bridge? Is that what it was? Nah, it was just like, it was No, cool. is that the name of the arena? Game Bridge, I believe? Bro, I would have forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But listen, I believe it is. It is crazy. No, no, the who? Game Bridge. Is it Game Bridge? No, it ain't called no Game Bridge. What the fuck is it called? I don't know what it's called. Ain't it called a field house? Field house. That's, <laughs> that's what you threw me out to. So what, what the that's game what it, bridge? That's what it is. Hey, what a, what does game bridge I've have never, to do? I've never been to Indiana in my damn life. I, I Are just, you serious? Just, yeah, no, nah, I've never been. Indiana was known for like, that used to be the place for basketball. I, I was about to go for All-Star, but I, I ain't go. Because you can't shoot. That's cap. Hey. I told hey, Dwight, beat me if I one. if I beat him in ones, I get the bravest. <laughs> hey, really and, and Nick gonna record it. And, and Nick gonna record it, man. Listen, if, if y'all believe Snipe can beat me in one on one, put that put it in the comments. Tell them the rules though. Tell them the rules. The rules is three three dribbles. Yep, all three jumpers. Max. He's all jumpers. All jumpers. And he don't understand when I play one on one, all I do is all jumpers. Hey, bro, listen. Like doing all the other stuff. Speaking of centers shooting three, that's old. <laughs> nah, that's great. That's great. Nah, that's great. <laughs> oh, shit. No, Al Horford, though, he going crazy. He the oldest Sinners. center in NBA Facts. history. No, not center. He the oldest player in NBA history to hit seven threes He's in the game. He's the oldest player. Oldest player in, in NBA history to hit Shout seven threes in the game. Horford, he hits the oldest player to hit seven threes. Seven threes. The oldest. The oldest. Yo, that's crazy. That's man. Shout out insane. to Al Horford, man. Hey, he doing his thing. That's why I'm saying this is a great story. That, that they got, they got a, a great storyline too. You know, winning for the Celtics is like, it's like winning for the Lakers. So, yeah. Somebody you know? said Al Horford smart. He got he learned his old man game early. Facts. So now that he Al Horford so been long. having an old man game forever. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, shoot. centers centers shining right centers now. Centers shining well. No, because Rudy <laughs> messing us up. Rudy, <laughs> listen, bro. <laughs> no. Take the cap. And take the glasses and just go to Cancun. Don't play the next game because what happens is now every time Rudy play, they defensive rating so drop. We was every arguing time he about was that. Out the, out the game, they defensive rating went up. It's so nasty, that play, bro. Before we even get into this, the next game, man, the play he going back don't to do it, bro. Who fought was that? No, no, no. Break Rudy, down. Rudy, no, 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 Rudy, no. Hell no. Hell no. Rudy. Break down the play to the to to the audience so they know what play you're talking about. We talking about the game winning shot that Luca hit game two, right? To go 2 0. Luca get a screen. Is, is this the clip right here? Play it, play it, Nick. This All right. gotta be the this, clip. This is the clip right here. This is the clip. Yeah, this is the clip. Up, this is the clip. Force him one way, get over the top of the screen. Pause and it. Get back Pause that front. shit. Pause that shit. Bro, he, Jaden McDaniels is already wrong, bro. No. He's all, get he, your ass back can I ask over here, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up before Nick even press play again. Look at the camera. Who do you see? I, Rudy. And who else? Luca. Okay, so who else fault is it? Nobody. Man. Luca should have, Rudy should have got up right there, not let him cross back up to his uh, left hand. Keep it in his right hand, pressure him. I don't and think he's capable drive. of doing that. Though. That's my point. So it's no. Rudy Fall. No, 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 no. If if you're not capable of doing that, it's he, my job no, knowing that you're not what capable you mean, of doing that. I'm not. No, bro, it's no, the no, last no. play of the watch, game. Watch, 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 watch I get on I'm my not, I'm not gonna, As it is basketball team sport. Yes. You were a captain and one of the most important players on the team, right? Yes. Your job is to make sure that you don't allow somebody's weakness to be exposed, right? So if you know Jameer Nelson can't fucking defend somebody that's driving in the paint, that's your job to come weak side help. But if you Jaden McDaniels and you know Rudy Gobert can exist in the island, you don't allow yourself to get screened and you bring your ass back and let likely give him the dump off, bro. Give it to him. Okay, but at the same time. But you got to know strength of weaknesses on your team. You can't leave that. You said it. The thing is. Think, if you think Rudy Gobert no. going to stop that nigga on the ice, no, you let me show you something. No, what do you they, mean? He's not going to stop him, but we not they up. 
They yeah, up by we, two, we so up fuck. By two. Don't let him let beat him you. Get threes. Don't let him get no threes. Threes. Run him off the line. He thought he was running off the line. He hit no, his ass with a step back. First of all, no. I'm going to tell, tell you. He started off. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to tell you. Bro, he about to hit the nigga with the the punch yes. dribble and to I'm make it look like he's coming I'm in. And he going to snatch back on his ass. And he almost failed. He did do that. But I'm going to tell you why it's bad defense. He moving his feet too much. He tap danced. Man, that nigga, he ain't the used place. to this. He ain't used to this. He, he, he got four he NBA trophies. No, bro. He's long Not from hell. this, though. Whoa, Not for this. Bro. First of all, he long as hell. All bro, he got to do is get twice. Twice. Yeah, bro. Make him He step. said it twice. He got four bro. defensive players of the year, and none of them came from guard niggas on the perimeter, bro. He was just always blocking shots. And getting boards. This he year ain't he, guarding niggas like Luca. This year he was. Let me listen. First of all, the reason why I said they was going to play, uh, get to the finals, is because their defensive pressure. So what I'm saying is, the last two series, their defensive pressure has been amazing. They've been up. They've been moving their feet. They've been pressuring. They've been making people look. Use, usually, if you watch most of the games in these series. Rudy Gay, I mean, not Rudy, but Rudy uh, Gobert. I said the same thing last year. So now y'all can get up on me. I said the same thing last year. Rudy, Rudy Gobert would have had him all the way up near half court because last game, last series when they was pressuring folks, they had them starting their offense at half court. But now in this series, they more tired. They more frustrated. They don't have the same legs. I'm telling you, I'm, this is how I know that Rudy is tired. You know how I know? I'm oh. watching him push more people instead of jumping and trying to block shots. Instead of doing that, he's trying to push them and he's getting into push. So, so it's not Jaden McDaniel's fault for leaving somebody he knows. It's, it's, two, in. it's two people Hold on. right here. I'm just asking a question. What do you think the defensive scheme Who was defensive my player of the year? My nigga. Like Rudy. Who defensive player of the year? My nigga, listen to me, bro. Who is defensive player of the year? But Rudy. Dwight, you being defensive player of the year ain't got nothing to do with Jameer Nelson allowing Chris Paul to have you on it at the top of the key. I understand like, that, but uh, this that's is what gonna I'm saying. going to be hard for you to do. You, would you agree it's going to be no, hard for you but, to guard? But, but this is what I'm that. saying. Dwight not going to let the nigga put him I'm, on the yeah, island. Let I'm gonna, he make him I'm beat I'm going to make him drive okay, regardless. Play, play the clip. Because what y'all not understanding is he is making Rudy believe that he's <laughs> driving. He's going to do a hard punch. I Watch bet. the foot extension to a shit. hard dribble. Let me see. Once Rudy drops back, this he's going to snatch his ass. This is Luca. This ain't Kyrie. This is a slow crossover. Watch it. Watch it. Watch the punch <laughs> dribble right there. He. It looked like he was about to drive That's hard. That's what he's saying. Why is he? No, why stop. is he biting for the drive? Play, play it again. Let him drive. No, you said run him off the line. He just retreating. He retreated when he thought he was going to drive. Point. Go let him get the layup. That's run what we're saying. Back. He hit him with the punch dribble, and it looked like he, he was about to attack. Watch this, watch this. That's what the, that's the thing. And, and step back don't, on his ass. Look, that's what we talking Rudy about. Don't there worry, lost, man. Don't worry about that punch dribble. If he going to drive, let him drive. Keep they up by two. Let him drive. That's they what up. we saying. He should have never fell for the punch dribble. Why are you going it's back? Not, it, bro, if, if, if right? the nigga okay, drive into the basket, bit, would you bitch. want him to stand still? Yes, let him go. Get a two. Do we I, up by two. He just said he, he, want, he, he wanted say, to stand what, still. What, what, what I'm saying is. It's nobody in their mama going to stand still and let you get a wide open layup. Not let them stand still. You're going to contest the layup too. Is, you don't want him to score at correct, all. Correct. Make him like, drive. He thought make he was driving he, off the punch. He was. But he Jaden McDaniel's not falling for that. He guard. He been guarding this nigga the whole series. He know it's coming. He had been falling for it. Luca been no, got no, 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 30 so no, points no. a night. Luca been dropping his ass off. Let me tell you something. Better offense. Look. Better offense, good defense. Remember when Jamal Murray? He, he was still look, there. If you, if you watch this, yeah. Jaden McDaniels buckish, he's on Luka. Luka's just still yeah. making tough Remember shots. Remember when Jamal Murray hit the, the jump shot on AD yeah. to go in the game? Yeah. They said it. They said, yo, Anthony Davis should have just let him drive because. Let him drive. Let him finish at the paint over a 7 2 guy. Don't let him shoot over the top because they're the, used the, to the doing that. between Jamal Murray and AD and Luka and Rudy. Man, the nigga set it up one to win. One I bet did the you. Heavy, the difference is one hard dribble punch, you. and he made it look like he was going to drive. Now, now, Jamal Murray did the same who, shit. Who, who was, he who, stepped no, back no, and Who was on the all-defensive <laughs> team this year? <laughs> who was all-defensive team this year? Name all five of them. Anthony Davis. Rudy, Rudy Gobert. Bam Adebayo. Victor Wimiyama. Uh-huh. And one other guy. Who was the one of the It was a big. Uh, who was it? Um, who was the fifth guy? It should have been Drew Holiday. Should have been. Nah, it was all centers, right? Yeah. Out of all those centers, which one is the least mobile? 
Hey, hey. <laughs> which one is the least mobile? Rudy. Okay, so all four of them other guys, I bet you, in that situation, they would have got up and made him drive. They wouldn't allow him to do the step back because they know. AD allowed fucking Jamal Murray to do the step back? Am I lying? AD would have did a better job on that play than uh, I believe so. I than, agree. Uh, than Rudy. I, I bet Wimby would have blocked it. I bet Wimby wouldn't have let him get to them left hand step back. Yeah, well, Wimby ain't let that. Wimby would have blocked it though, for real. For Wimby would have blocked it. Wimby would have. Right, man, come on, man. Wimby seven nine. So before the game, what Anthony Anthony had said something before the game. He said he was. He said he gonna shoot a lot. How many shots he shot? Hey man, before the game, <laughs> AE said y'all gonna see tonight. It's gonna be a lot of shots. He was basically saying he's gonna be more. He aggressive. gonna be aggressive tonight. He was gonna lock in, and to be honest, between me and y'all, bro, I he had twenty six tonight. I still feel like he could have been a little bit more. He aggressive. He was locked in to passing the ball. He went locked in to going. I thought he could. He tonight he should have been ultra aggressive. But again, I feel like he is fatigued. I feel like he is tired from having to chase Kyrie for one. And then he's tired from having to go game seven with the defending champs. Uh, what's the series before that? Did, did they did the champ before that? Who they played first? Oh, the first series. No, the they first, swept them. The first series they, they swept. swept the Suns. They swept the they Suns, but it wasn't rest. no easy series, even no. though it was a sweep. You know, so they out of they <laughs> they a they, hard they, sweep. It was a hard sweep. Yeah, but they they <laughs> gassing out. They gassing out. Just think about the pressure that they was applying to Phoenix. Think about the pressure that they was applying to um, Denver. Think about how much they was pressuring them. How Nas Reed was pressuring go. Um, no, Nas Reed was playing some good defense today, though. Yeah, but if, what if, I'm if. saying is the energy level has dropped a little bit sure. because they are fatigued. Ant not Ant's talking, but he's not being aggressive like that. He like shot 24 a, shots tonight. He went 11 for 24, which is well, that's know, pretty. That's good. Yeah, that's a good percentage, but. I feel like he has to attack more on this to this team, but they have some really good on-ball defenders because DJ can jump. And so now when he gets to the paint, I feel like, man, I know we've been on Rudy, but I feel like Rudy is taking up a lot of space out there, and I feel like what he needs to do more hey, is, man. like you said, he might be the worst. Um, Thank you. He might be the worst offensive player that's left in the playoffs. I got a lot of slack for that, bro, but it's just the truth. I talk but I understand to you about what it, you're saying. I understand what you're saying. People not understanding what you mean. When he gets that ball out of the pick and roll, he is not really a threat. There is nothing he can do offensively. If you give him the ball, there's nothing he can do. And guess what? Obviously, Dallas knows that. When that nigga get the ball, bro, nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's when he what gets I'm the ball, saying. everybody's backing off. They sacking off. They they literally in the interior. So when you say you need Ant to drive more, it's hard. I told you what he got to do. He got to go to the uh, the uh, French tip. The uh, what, nah, what, what they had in his when, head. When, 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 he had the, when he had the highlights. Yeah. And, and, and this is how you know it's bad, right? Wimby is a fourth. I mean, not Wimby. I'm sorry, Rudy. Is a four-time <laughs> defensive player of you the said year. It right? Rudy is a four-time defensive player of the year, and he didn't even play majority of the fourth quarter, bro. Because, because he's a they, liability on both ends. I, like, Nick, I've never heard more. I've never <laughs> heard of a nigga winning this award I four times and a liability on defense. and being a liability on the award that you won, bro. It's, it's like, crazy. It's just like what they, I was saying on. It came uh, out the uh, golf a couple hat. shows. Oh. <laughs> what I was saying about. The fact that he won the award, and I was saying, yes, this is his best defensive personal year. This is best defensive year. But I felt like Wimby should win the award because of the pressure that he applies on defense I and I the look, presence. One of the defensive players he won, though, players was afraid to, you know, to go and get contact because remember he he had COVID <laughs> yeah. he had COVID and he was yeah. rubbing his hands all over the <laughs> mic all, all over the mic. <laughs> he didn't did, did say you, that. You you a three time you a three time <laughs> defensive player of the year. Has there ever been a time where a team schemed something to where you're guarding them? Like they're scheming for Rudy to guard. Well, I, I, so I the, was able so to the, guard. So I was able to guard. Had. I was able to guard. Who was your toughest guard? Like who who was the toughest person you had to guard? In a, on a perimeter, on a perimeter and in the paint, we'll just do both. So, like, who's that? Who's that guard when you get a switch and you got and you got to be out there? Like, damn, it's tough. Probably KD. You switching on KD? No, 
I was forcing him to drive. Every guard I was going against, I was forcing him to drive. But as we got, as I got a little bit older, then that's when guys start doing all the step backs and stuff like that. Even with James, I would just stay on one of his, on his on the on the side of him, and make him have to shoot. Was know. he the toughest? No, nah, not when I had to guard him. I who, thought who would I, you say the toughest was off a of switch? Kobe. Uh, Kyrie. Kyrie. Why? What, what make him so difficult? Cause he's shifty. He can get to either. Uh, he can use either hand. Any guard that can do like them floaters with yeah. with either hand, and they could finish off the the wrong foot. All that <laughs> stuff was difficult because you got to think. When I came into the league, everything was one two finish. Yeah, like, you know, it was always they changing the timing and everything. You know, it, now people are. It's crazy because shout out my cousin. Shooting it. Shout out my cousin Dave, but he said that when he whenever he playing in the runs with Kyrie. They have in Jersey. Look, look, look. <laughs> look the runs said that. Kyrie. You, you know, you know, he, he said, was at the runs. He said Move that put Kyrie, the runs right, Kyrie is the craziest guy to guard because he come in full speed and he can stop at any time. No, nah, yeah, to any shoot, hand, to finish, he all doing that off stuff, the wrong yeah. leg. He doing <laughs> so. Shoot, I think, I think uh, Kyrie might be the best, the best finisher, and the best shot maker. I think he's the best shot maker ever. I think he the best. The dagger he hit in the corner tonight. So, so the what, what kind made? of shots are you, are we putting in this? Because when we say shot maker, it's a lot of tough shot maker. Are you saying All right, creative so top shots? Five. I'm, I'm, top five. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say it like this, right? Obviously, we know Kobe is a great tough shot maker. Uh -huh. We know that uh, Mello. Mello, great tough shot maker. Uh, Jr. Smith. Luke, I, don't, I know a lot of niggas don't want to give Jr. his credit, but Jr. makes. The shots that Jersey. nobody has no business making, JR make makes them. a lot of those. So is that a tough you shot? Notice that I, I think you got to put him with absurd, yeah. absurd shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You notice the tough shot makers is from Jersey. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But I think what separate Kyrie <laughs> yeah, is right. Jersey. I think what separate Kyrie is, man, a lot of his tough shots aren't just jumpers. I'm talking about floaters from angles that's yeah. impossible still hitting the glass. He will be... What kind Driving of goal was he shooting Hold with up. as a kid? They said his goal had holes and, and stuff in it. Mine did too, nigga. I can't play like that. I'm trying to figure what Hold was up. he doing? Bro, hey, growing up, shout out my cousin Delane, bro. We hooped. We used to play one-on-one -on -one to 100. No backboard. We, we lived in Cleveland. He so, like, damn, nigga, you ain't made the NBA? <laughs> we, lived in, we, we, lived, we lived in Cleveland. So in the wintertime, in the wintertime, the, um, the, the wind knocked down the hoop. Uh -huh. Right, and the fucking backboard was like smack back because of the uh, frozen yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just took it off because at this point the, the backboard is not helping. So we just had a rim and a net, and we'll play one on one to hundred, bro. Dang, I'm not no. I'm I'm, I'm the longest thing from Kyrie Irving you gonna find, bro. So I just that's he's how, just that's, a special is, person. Is that where the name Snipe came from? You was making your shots. I, pro I promise. You, I, I believe it helped. You know why? You I'm know why? Ass, you know bro, why? I, I believe it helped. You, he got the name Snipe because. He needed that to put one, a cap on. He was gas to hunt it. He like, I'm fucking, I'm shooting everything. <laughs> nah, nah, for, for real though. Like, if you look, Antoine Jameson played on a hoop that was 12 feet. That's why his, that's why his jumper looked he like dunk. That's why feet. that's why his shoulder looked like. What you mean? His dad built the hoop in his backyard by hand, and they didn't measure it. So his dad just like nailed it up, and it was 12 feet. He grew up playing on a 12 feet basket. So a lot of that's why his shot in this game is so. Unorthodox, because he grew up playing on a, on, a, on a 12 foot hoop. He just played for Cleveland. I mean, he did. Shout, shout, shout out my dog. But no, it's, <laughs> shout it's out true. to Tuan, but that's for real? It's, it's a true story. That's tough. So look, yeah. top five shop, uh, all time. <laughs> all time. It's the glasses maker. he ain't came through. <laughs> he said shot fakers. <laughs> shot fakers. That's Kyrie, shot Kyrie in my top all five, All time man. shot makers. Top. Jordan. All time top. Which one is it? All, all time shot all, makers. All time. Tough, tough shot, shot makers. Shot maker. No. Tough shot makers, bro. Tough shot makers. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Jordan. Jordan got to be. No. Kyrie got to be number one. He got to be number one. He's number one for me. And I know people going to hate that. It's a lot of Kobe fans. A lot of Brown fans. A lot of. I seen them Jordan clips, man. Bro, the nigga Jordan Ky be closing his eyes. 360 layup on him. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, no. Kyrie Jordan, be in the Jordan, corner. And Jordan still... 2. Jordan 2, okay. Kobe 3. Oh. Uh, KD 4. KD 4. He, he ain't like that. He ain't like that one. <laughs> KD 4. Okay. Yeah, nah. That's a good list so far. 
You know we gotta put Steph in there at five. Oh, I gotta shoot. put Steph in there. He be making don't some talk tough about ass Steph, shots. but he be making some tough Steph shots. Steph, no Dame. Like, if we gonna put Steph in, no Dame. Dame nah. just Dame time. He just he just make game. We talking shots. about the we tough, tough shots. Dame's shot. in a lot of tough he make, shit. He do. He do. But I mean, everybody know, can't make the list. Everybody can't be on yeah, the list. It's just the like list. they left me off top seventy five. <laughs> That's why it's crazy talking about everybody can't be left off the list. That's not the list I shouldn't have been left off of. I'm what, sorry for scaring you, dog. Your top, but they my top five. I got, I got Kyrie five. one, and, and it might be recency bias, but the shit that Kyrie makes is crazy. I'm from Cleveland, so I've been able to watch Kyrie since his rookie years. The shots that he's been making is insane. Kyrie one. Um, I know, I know. I was mad, but I'm okay. Now. I'm going, I'm going Kobe two. Yeah, Kobe number two. I'm going Bron three. Bron three. He made some tough shots in DC. Some crazy shit, bro. Bron has made some crazy. I'm going Bron three four. I'm gonna go MJ. Okay. Five. I'm gonna go. I can't. I can't go against Steph. Steph. Steph hit some shit. You can't I, go I, 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 a lot of y'all gonna be mad at me for for, for putting MJ forward. This is my list, nigga. I don't go for. It's go ahead, move. I got. I got. Um, Jordan. Jersey. Jordan one. Jordan. Jersey. Cool, politically correct ass nigga, bro. Yeah. Mo just want to be politically correct, Mo. Nah, cause I just, Mo, do your whole list, time, bro. This show time list. He was talking I about see, Kyrie. This nigga Jersey. probably watched Jordan play two I times, see, bro. Once. I, I seen them damn never, clips. I seen them clips, but, man. Mo, you Jordan. ain't see the clip. I seen the clip, Jordan. You can't. No, hold on, hold on, bro. See, like you cannot base a list off of clips. If you watch my clips, nigga. I look good too, nigga. Yeah. Like, if you watch Come Nick clips, he look good. Give the <laughs> no, they call they... clips for a reason. <laughs> That's the highlight we... clip is only showing your highlights, nigga. You'll never I see. I get that, but when you watch that Jordan documentary and you see the shit in real time, it's like he you making some crazy. Time. You didn't I'm see it in real time. Move the fuck away. Real time because the footage is real time. Well, real time is watching it in '96. The footage is real time, though. Real time footage. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not. It's a real game. All right, but you, you, you got anyway. You got Jordan, Jordan Kobe, <laughs> Kyrie, <laughs> Stephen Curry, and you got to put another jersey in there. Go I ahead. ain't gonna put, no, a put Cat in there. Go ahead. I'm gonna put, put Cat in there. <laughs> put nah, I'm putting Nas Reed in there. He <laughs> put Jr. Jelly, man. Jelly fam. Put Come Jr. On, in there, man. Andre Iguodala. <laughs> <laughs> man, what? what the fuck? Yeah, move. You are suspended. Oh, you know, you know how they be. Uh, Philly, dis- Andre you know how they be dismissing the referee. I mean, the, man, the what coaches. The fuck? Man, you know how they dismiss the coaches instead you of saying you they ain't, fired. Yo, y'all ain't never see that you video. Dismissed. I want Eagle Dollar. <laughs> yo, the yo, Max yo. Kellerman. Who? <laughs> Max Kellerman said, if, "If if if aliens were about to destroy Earth with a laser beam pointed at Earth, he would have Andre Iguodala shoot for the lives of us before." Uh, Stephen Curry. He said, I'm taking Eagle Dollar. Nah, but Eagle Dollar on Philly, though, was making some crazy shit. No, he though. really said that shit, bro. Eagle Dollar. It was like on one of the worst takes of all time. Philly, Philly Eagle Dollar was coming crazy, though. Nah, fuck that, bro. I'll take, <laughs> nah, hell, I'll take AI before, before. Philly Eagle Dollar was real, dunking on Dwight, though. The real AI. Damn. Philly oh, Eagle Dollar. <laughs> God damn, why you look? That's AI. That's Matter of fact, man. I'm splitting that. Five is AI. Allen Iverson and Eagle Dollar. All right, bro. How he going to do that? <laughs> you, you can't do that, bro. He's trying to be politically correct. All right, so I know we were talking about it's too late, but six men of the year, Nas Reed, said, I quote, if anybody can win four straight, it's them. That's that Jersey shit, so, man. So my question to y'all is, yeah, no movement. team has ever came back from 3-1. Is it possible? Yeah, he talking about they got a chance. <laughs> he said if anybody can do it, If still. anybody can do it. If you anybody. don't think everybody got a player on their team that's been down 3-0 that had the same kind of person they like. I'm, I'm, just, hey, I'm just telling you what Nas said. This was not. Hey, this listen. your Jersey, boy. Hold on, let Moose speak on it. This your boy from Jersey. Yeah, that's that on, Jersey shit, on. but I want to hear this. What is the Jersey? What does you mean? Well, anything is possible. We believe anything is possible. No, nigga, do you believe it's possible? That's what I'm asking you. I know what you're saying. Do you, you believe? believe? Oh, I, shit, it's not up to me. It's no, up to them. <laughs> Move. Do you they think about me switching up? Bro. They switching up all Move. They play. Move. Can they, they come back to Kyrie Irving, boy? Move. Can oh. they come back for you? <laughs> Can they come back? Yes. Anything possible. It's a it's a one percent. What does that yeah. mean? Yeah. You're not saying yes or no, if bro. If it's one percent, no. If it's a one percent. Then that shit can happen. That's what I feel like. So is that a yes? One <laughs> percent. But it's not Bro, no one percent. It's zero percent of the chance. I'm not switching, so I'm going Minnesota till they in Cancun, nigga. Why you got my glasses on? So that's a yes. Why you got my glasses on? Is, is that a yes? Nigga? But it might be one percent that they make it. 
Is it a yes back? move? That I, that I think they can come back? <laughs> yes, <laughs> nigga, yes. Oh, my God. I don't God. think they can come back. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but I believe they can come back. Oh, Lord. I don't think they can oh, come back, hell, but I believe it. You it. need my thinking cap on. Put this over your little head, too. Dwight. You can fit it with your glasses on, your hat and everything, can too. Can Minnesota come back down through your Hell head. no. <laughs> hell no. Hell no. How many Today, games no, is it going? No, How many games no. is it going? Have you heard that song? That need to be their theme song. Nick, Nick, pull it up. Go, hell go. no. To the no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Hell, hell no. no. This my this my shout out to my my grandma. This her favorite song, <laughs> and this is about to be Minnesota's theme song because everybody thought they was winning, but hell no, <laughs> to the no no Wait, he no. Said everybody thought they was winning. You thought I that. thought they was winning too. <laughs> I did believe it. You first, you gotta see it to believe it, and I don't see it no more. So <laughs> this the song right here. Hell no. That's that's Anthony right there when he's 70. <laughs> no, that's Rudy Gobert. No, that ain't it. Rudy. <laughs> you might have to cut to, to where it say hell no to the no, no, uh, Nick, for the copyright part. <laughs> <laughs> to the no, no, no. <laughs> All right, man. How, how many games is it going at least? If they're not going to win the series, how many games are it going? Four, they one and three. They done lost the series already. So it's just over. They not winning another game. They not winning, bro. So you, Indiana and and Minnesota against what? And yes, in your book. They gone. Move. How many games the series going? They know it. It might go game seven. That's what I'm man. Okay. Listen, okay. listen. Okay. I love Minnesota. It's over with. <laughs> Indiana. Uh, Miles Turner is already at home working on new Legos. He is not <laughs> thinking about the rest of the series. Uh, Halliburton, he hurt. <laughs> I want him to play. But oh, wait, we talking about Indiana? Oh, Indiana's sweet. They oh. done, see? <laughs> oh, shit. They done. I believe in Indiana, nigga. Let me ask you I'll this. tell you what we, I think We talked that. about a lot of the, uh, we, we gave our top five on the toughest shot makers. Who's the toughest shot maker you ever played with? And who's the shot, uh, toughest shot maker you played against? Toughest shot maker He played ever. with two. I, I played with two of the three that I named. Three. Kobe Somebody got to be one. Somebody got to be two. I think, I think, who? Kobe, he made some tough shots. Anyone that like, like stick out in particular that he made? He you was like, one he what? made against me in the playoffs, mm. in the, in the uh, finals. In the finals? He went, he started, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, came one, up. Yeah, that's the best shot I ever seen in my in life. In dunk. And after, he, he went what, from his what, right, he went dunk? middle, then he finished left. What dunk, Moo? <laughs> what I'm, the? I'm not just going to bring it up. It's you just brought up. it up. <laughs> That dunk, Nick. You bring it. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me see if Nick can bring up the dunk. Why what? you looking at me like that, bro? What dunk? He, I, I'm trying to find out what dunk. I'm who, trying to see if Nick you can bring about? the dunk up real who? quick. Kobe. Kobe dunk on me. That was a tough shot. That was not a tough shot. Let me see, man. Let me see what you're talking what you talking about. How was this tough, nigga? You, God damn. You seven foot, nigga. That's I'm not tough. seven feet. <laughs> you just did my uh uh. God. Kazuka. Damn. <laughs> No, well, like, like, what's in your mind right now? Like, <laughs> like when you went going back on defense, are you like, I want the ball? Nah, what I was. I nah, was him saying. pausing right there is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Nick pausing right there is diabolical, bro. I'm not gonna. Is that the? What's your That's song the right picture. Right? <laughs> 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 grab it, grab, grab it. You can reach it from here. <laughs> hey, man. Man, I never, hey, I never paid attention to that photo before in my life, bro. So I just looked around. And he got a dedication too at oh, the bottom. Man. This is dedication. Kobe, to the Kobe wife. signed it, man. Yeah, he did sign it. Rest in peace, Kobe. And man, he had to what? do that to me, man. Speaking of tough dunks, we said we was gonna react to the the dunk and just did. It might have, hey, even though they might be done, I think that was the best dunk of the year, bro. Oh, the year? Oh, not the year. It's no, no, no. It's the one he did, and he fucked up his hand. Yeah, exactly. He dunked on uh, uh, Utah. Show this you damn mean? dunk, though, man. Cause. Oh! Damn! Ooh, All right, best dunk, best dunk in the playoffs, for he sure. He dunked him to Cancun, but he coming back. Best dunk in the playoffs. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm going to tell you damn. what. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you why it's so cold, because he hesitated. Yeah. Like, he slowed down. Damn, then he, he took another. The he took another step. And then took off. And then, like, it, it just took off. He took off outside the paint. 
Now John what, Collins. That's what, what prom? Doing. What prom? Dwight doing against that? Prom? Uh, what I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. First of all, I'm putting him on the floor. <laughs> oh man, come on! I'm man. filing the hell out of him. <laughs> what you mean? Yo, yo. What is your best dunk? Like, like, what's, what's the best body you ever caught? Uh, it's I, holiday season. Oh no, nah, <laughs> I would say my best dunk was on um, Mike Muscala from uh, when I played for Charlotte. He was with the Atlanta Hawks. Ah. Uh. I'm when I tell you, Nick, Nick, pull that up. Listen, can. listen. You know how like most people who when they go try to dunk, they try to like use somebody and block them. The Blake off. Griffin style, yeah. Mine is mine is straight. Straight me going up straight body to body. Boom. Let's see if we can find a clip. He don't even know. Yeah, he don't know how to spell Muscala. I don't either. Uh, uh, Muscala. <laughs> M-U-S-C-A-L-A. Muscala. Mike Muscala. It might be Moo Cousin. It may do. <laughs> Mike <laughs> Moo. <laughs> Mike uh, Moo. Yeah. Uh, we find a clip. We find a clip. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you this joint crazy. This joint crazy. This is one of my best. Two hand, ever. one hand. Wait, wait, wait. Two hand. Me. Two hands is crazy. Yeah. And y'all was winning surprisingly. Yeah, I had, I had like, I had crazy dunks this game. Watch this one dribble. Oh, this is Atlanta dribble. too. Yeah. Who? Damn. Who? Yeah, six eleven. Look at Jeremy Lamb. He like, oh my, my boy D Bay. Look, look at D look at Bay, Bay, man. Bay's like, it's all good, bro. That's Dwight. Damn. <laughs> you just smiling? Why you smiling so hard? Bro? Oh, man, look at it. One dribble up. Look at it. Damn. Ooh. Like, what was he thinking? Oh, boys. Hey, look at that. Shout out to Malik Monk. He, he should have got six man of the year. But Malik was sitting around on the court and giving me a chest bump. <laughs> That's how hard I dunked the ball. Now, that was I dunked crazy. it so hard, Michael Jordan said, hey, trade him after the season. Damn. And really? I got traded after the season. From that dunk? Not from the dunk. I'm but gonna, I'm just saying, I'm he saying. traded me. I thought he, he, he said, no. <laughs> Jordan ain't never like, try to get you to uh, like, be a part of Jordan brand or nothing like that when you was playing for the team? No, they said I smile too much. I, I, I'm just talking. I'm about to say, I know, I know they, I know Kimball Walker got like a Jordan Brand deal because he was wearing like other sneakers that wasn't Jordan Brand, and he was like, "Hey, if you have a good season this year, I can you got any Jordan dope Brand. Jordan stories like from when you played with Charlotte? Like he said anything to you? Yeah, he called me before I got there, wow. and that motivated me. Damn, what was that conversation like? It was just like, um, yeah, you know, we about to draft. Him. I mean, we about to, you know, bring you in. You know, you ready? And I was like, oh, <laughs> right? Yeah, I just felt, I, I was motivated. I was at Mike. the gym when he called me. So I went in the gym and had a crazy workout after that because I was like, I'm finna go to Charlotte and kill. And you actually, had a 30-30 game over there. That's about to say I did something in Charlotte that I haven't done in nowhere in my career. And I got flack oh, for it. I did the 30 and 30, and they was a reporter like, he should have been doing this every game. He should have been doing this every night. That's he was doing crazy. it in Orlando. And I'm like, I ain't never doing it in Orlando. And only five people has ever done what I did. And they talking about it wasn't good enough. 30 and 30 is fucking crazy. 30 and 30 was crazy because that game we played, we played Brooklyn. I had four and like 11 at halftime and came back in the second half and went crazy. Damn. I'm talking about dunking everything. What was your thought process at halftime? You took something? So, I'm going to tell you what happened. This is a true story. You know how, um, what's his name? Uh, Kevin Garnett was in that movie called Jim. Um, um, the Jim movie, Uncut, Uncut Jim. Jim yeah. So, I had something crazy like that happen with me and the crystal. So, uh, I went to this, uh, me, Malik, and um, uh, Dwayne Bacon. We was like walking around New York, and we went to this shoe store. And uh, they was my rooks, so I used to, like, you know, get them shoes, yeah. take them out, talk to them. So uh, we was talking about, like, what happens, you know, when we die and all this stuff, just having a conversation. So we walk into this one store. I'm like, yo, let me go in this store real quick. I want to get some crystals. So we walk past this crystal store. We going in. The lady like, hey, can I talk to you? And so she was like, you been uh, asking questions about what happened when you die? I'm like, what the? I'm looking at them like, <laughs> yeah. how she know what we... What we just talked about. Man, she was following behind y'all. Yeah, man. it was crazy. So she gave me this crystal. And she said, all right, tomorrow something's crazy going to happen. Like, it's going to be real crazy where, you know, uh, everything is going to be really bad. And then it's going to flip and be really good. Tomorrow's going to be a really good day for you. She said, now take this crystal that I give you. And you go home. Um, 
at night, put it in your window and let it get some energy from the moon and then meditate with it um, in the morning. Like meditate on how you want your game to go or whatever. And so I woke up, you know, I like meditating about having a good game, killing, getting all the rebounds, dominating. And then that night, the first half, I had four and 11. I was coming out the lock, coming out the, off the court. One of the fans was like, Dwight, how are you sorry as hell? <laughs> and I was like, damn. <laughs> I felt like a, I felt bad as hell. Uh, little, so I don't know who he was. He said that, so I, that, I had the, I had the crystal with me at halftime, so I went to locker when room. When you was you talking to it like, damn, I thought you said I was gonna have a good game. No, I just looked at the, I just held the crystal. I was like, all right, this about to, I'm about to turn up. And then in the second half, I swear it was like everything changed. I came out. And it was like kind of what she was saying. So I had this crystal and I still got the crystal. It was it was crazy. It was kind of like the same uncut gem That's story. Crazy. That's actually wild. Wow. You ever you ever did it again with that? Like you ever tried to try to like re Man, I went and got a hundred crystals after that. <laughs> <laughs> I got crystals I everywhere in my you, house. Man. Hey man, hey, I you don't got know. Got crystal right there, right? Where is it? Yeah, right now. <laughs> I got that in Taiwan. I don't know if y'all remember this, man. Uh Nick, I think you got the uh photo. Daily News posted when Kyrie left Brooklyn. The headline was, Nets deal Kyrie to the Mavs. Who cares? He's finally gone. And in bold cap, it says, he's your headache now. We talked about how the storyline would go if Dallas was to win a championship. Yeah. But I think so many people forget so fast how quickly Kyrie was written off by media, brands like Nike, and more. Nike yeah. was just a headline. Yeah. Now, he's playing amazing basketball up 3-0, and he's going to advance to the finals. And if he wins, this will probably be one of the best comeback stories we've seen in a long time. Yes, and he deserves it because of all the great things that he's doing as Man. well. You know, the stuff he's doing with um, women's basketball, what he decided to do during COVID and helping them during that time. Uh, the stuff that he's been doing in the Congo, in Africa, the stuff that he's been doing with his tribe um, here in America, um, all the, the the things that he's done with the shoe company that he's had, he has in China. Answer, shout out, answer. Like, all these things answer. that he is doing, <clears throat> he's, like, starting this wave, you know, of, of free thinkers, of people who don't feel like they should be bogged down by any system, you know, and uh, he's he's doing that with love. He's he's doing that with grace, and you know, um, it's just amazing to see. I'm really proud at uh, the fact that he didn't allow what happened to him to to um, to get him down because that's very tough, man. When you got remember, he had to do like some type of NBA thing with the the, the Jewish oh, community. Yeah, Kyrie did some similar stuff. Um, with the movie, yeah, he had he said discussed. he didn't watch the whole movie, so kind of the same type yeah, of situation. Yeah, where he's just yeah. trying to show. He's just trying to like, like I know it probably. He just posted a link too to the book. He yeah, people but people read it or because, tap but, in or but they knew what was on there. Yeah. So, you know, he went through that. He went through the like Nike, the biggest shoe company, turning their back on you. Um, that that hurts. Yeah, you know, and you know sometimes I be. I felt like that's what happened with, with me Adidas. and Adidas. Um, man, maybe it could have been a part my fault. You know, I don't know. I wish I could talk to whoever it is to try to figure it out because I'm always repping my shoes, Adidas. People always you ask me, Adidas yeah, right you got my shoes the right there. Kind of. People ask, always ask me about my arm sleeves. You know, I'm like, dang, like, how could I mend my relationship back with Adidas or whoever because I, like, even with them, I gave my... I gave my heart and soul to them, you know, you know, traveling throughout the world. You've been with them since high school, right? Since high school. Since high school, being with Adidas, traveling around the world for them, that's a big sacrifice, you know, when you got family, kids, yep. and stuff like that, and you're going to do my tours best over the world. Died, RIP. Uh, he used to wear your sneakers all the time. Wow. Oh, his favorite dang. sneakers was the Dwight Howard's. Oh, uh, man. Rest in peace. What's his yeah, name? Yihani. Yanni? Ihani. Ihani. Rest in peace, Ihani. R.I.P., bro. R.I.P., man. Yeah. Um, NBA TV deals, man. Moo, I know you talked about this. NBA TV deals, right? Uh, it's potential $7 billion annual media rights. Uh, that's what it's looking like. Mm -hmm. NBA mm -hmm. players 
could make up to ninety five million a, a year, year on Supermax contracts Ooh, in the future, listen. which is insane. Listen, bro. listen, listen, Linda. If you out there and you got your little, and you're six seven right now, I'm six <laughs> eleven. We could have us a ninety five million a year baby. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. Shoot I'm just, shot, man. Nah, I'm just joking. But man, just <laughs> just think about that, like. Wimby could make 95 million a year. Just one, just think about how it shows the growth of not only the game of basketball, but also technology to where people are able to get a hundred million dollars a year. A year. You, you never had no, I never signed a hundred million dollar contract in my never? whole never. Never? Never. No. Never. What's the most it was. It was eighty five. What the why? Because man, I've been disrespected. I've been disrespected. was with them from rookie a long time. Yeah, I I got. And then he kept joining stars, so it was. I joined the uh, Rockets. LeBron. I joined. I joined the Lakers. But when I was with the Lakers, Orlando, they got you for your first four years. Yeah. And then you get your extension. Yeah, that was eighty five. Five year eighty five. You wouldn't. It was. That's nine years. No. That was the max? 85 was the max? 85 was the max. And then he started playing with a bunch of superstars after that every year. Damn. So, like. They got him a brand deal, though. No. They got him a brand deal, though. I was, I was about to say, but. <laughs> was cleaning, yeah. but <laughs> was you, cleaning up on them brand deal. But I was about to say, they said, but, but they said you made $100 million off endorsements, though. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Maybe they would have. I don't know who they is. Guesstimated, but I'm, they said never listen to they. Yeah. I want to find out who they is too. Cause <laughs> I want to get some of that. Yeah, right, right. Just, go. just think about that though, man. Like that's a lot of money, right? It like, is. I mean, basketball is becoming damn near a baseball sport to where these guys are making. I mean, Jalen Brown is making three hundred plus million. million. They said everybody training their kids. You training your daughter? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my daughter, ten months, bro. By the time she, uh, I'm gonna give it a one and a half. We two ball, we we two balls, bro. We dribbling. I'm telling you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's out of pocket. But no, I'm saying you gotta work on the handle, bro. She gonna be she gonna be the next Caitlin Clark, bro. Thank we you, getting bro. up jumpers. We getting up shots. I give her, I give her, I give her a year. I give her a year. What's, her first birthday. First birthday. Turn a year, bro. I'm going to get her Fisher Price. We're going to work on the jump shot. <laughs> yeah. My, my girl going to be 6'1". 6'1"? God. What you got to be taller now? Because now they like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, you talking about 6'1". Point Who's guard 6'5". Six, 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 what you mean? Who's 6'7"? Huh? No, I said 6'1", but I'm saying if I'm 6'5", six, 6'4", six, and, and the girl 6'1", the baby no. going to be about 6'8". What you 6'5"? Moo, you ain't six that five. That nigga ain't six five. You was not six five. You about six three? You about I'm not six three? I'm not six three. Oh huh? lord! No, yeah, I'm more than six three. Moo, you six three, bro. Mm-mm. <laughs> you said mm-mm. I'm not. Moo, you ain't six three. <laughs> no. All right, man. Yeah, the Balenciagas, he he the white height. <laughs> yeah. And Balenciagas. All right, man. Uh, before we wrap it up, last subject in the pod, man. Briny's draft coverage is kind of getting out of hand. Um, a lot of people are wrongfully saying that he don't belong in the league, which I honestly do think he belongs in the league. I Dang. think he's an NBA player. However, uh, Bryony draft coverage versus Michael Jordan's sons, but uh, Michael Jordan's sons' social media wasn't a, as big as it was now. No, so like it Jordan wasn't. sons versus Bryony James, bro. Bryony winning? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Marcus and Jeff, but shout they, they out to Bryony. So but, when you was in the league in Jordan. Sons was coming up. Was it like that? It wasn't like, like that, but, but social media wasn't like that. And then um, I guess people have seen more of Bronny his whole career. Bronny has grown up. He's kind of like how... In the public eye. In the public eye. Like he's been there since a baby. So everybody has watched Bronny grow up, and now he's an adult. Basically, he's about to get drafted. So it's like people... So a lot of people are happy, but it's always people are, are, are mad because... It's LeBron's son, and they hating on him. So, you know, it's just crazy. But at the same yeah. time, I, I'm happy for him because, you know, he almost died. You know, and he, which is, he which got a, lot a chance at, about. Yeah, he got a chance at life. And, you know, he, he's living his best life. He got a chance to go to the NBA. Why not take it? He don't, you know, obviously, 
it's very hard for you know me even me having kids it's very hard for you know the kids to have to have to deal with famous parents because everybody has this expectation when they see them they're their parents you yeah. know and so now you got LeBron James and everybody's looking at Bronny like you LeBron James son so hey you better be right and now they hating on him because he about to be the number one pick. Look, okay, now nah, he ain't gonna be the number one pick, but he definitely gonna be. I think he's gonna be. I mean, he's he top ten. No, he's not gonna be top ten. Dang. Like when they asked him, he top twenty. I think he's gonna be second round. Cause man, I'm being honest. I think he's gonna be second Bronny round. Bronny is going top. Bronny's going top. If Bronny, if Bronny, if Bronny was six five, he'd be first round. He's going top twenty. I'm not gonna say he's not. Because I don't know what strings is being pulled Dude, behind the scenes. Who, I can tell you what. Who who is in this year's draft? That's Reed nice. Shepard, Rob Dillingham. Who Shepard? Reed Shepard. Tommy Shepard. That's is that Tommy yeah. Shepard. Reed Shepard played for uh, Kentucky, son. bro. You gotta know Reed Shepard. That's Dalton Tommy. Connect played for Tennessee. Rob Dillingham, the number one shooting guard in the country, went to Kentucky. Bronny is Kentucky. getting drafted okay. over all of them. Alex R. Supposed to be the number you, one overall pick. You know college basketball, was it? You, I do. <laughs> I do year. watch a lot of college basketball. I know, but you heard what Shaq said. Like, nobody was really watching college No, nah, Shaq wasn't year. watching college, Not bro. this like, year, though. I, what, this, this year wasn't this as year, much this year in, the, wasn't in, the, like, in the men's. This year was tough, bro. Like, Stephon Castle got a national championship with UConn. It's, it's a lot of good teams. It was a lot of good teams this year, bro. Nobody was talking about college basketball this year. They was talking about women's basketball. They talking about women's basketball. Yeah. And we need to talk about women's basketball. Yeah, they was shout out to the WNBA to the and all the players. And them man. games been packed out lately too. Yes, and they balling. They are. They balling. We need to give some more love to the ladies of this sport because you know they are doing a, a damn good job, and everybody's been hating on them and saying they need to do other things, but they doing the damn thing. Caitlin has changed for sure the game, and they getting the chance during the playoffs. You. you say what? She definitely out shoot you. You say I can't. I know for a fact she could. Caitlin out shoot you. Do you see what I'm wearing on my head? <laughs> Caitlin, Cap. hold on. Cap. Bro, Caitlin won't, wouldn't out shoot you, bro. No, man. Move. Shoot. I'm, Move. I'm, Come I'm on, part bro. Jersey. Come yeah. on, man. I believe in myself. <laughs> to the end. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> and I like it. Take us home, What you man. talking about, man? Take Listen, this is the greatest podcast ever with your boy Dwight Howard. Take us to Cancun. Man, we nigga. going to Cancun. Me and Moo Real. We going to be there soon. Snipe got to go back home and find some more shoes to <laughs> pop out. But you know what? This is the greatest podcast ever. Butter Rim with Dwight Howard, where we see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no, no evil. evil. Man, drop a like, hit the subscribe button right down there at the bottom. And remember, if y'all happen to see one of these, I can't see shit. Out, yeah, me either, if y'all see one of these, I got you. Enjoy it. Peace, love, and we'll see y'all next week. <laughs>